Hello, and this is uh, Jacob here back for another video. Um, this is going to be my first video where I'm really talking into the camera uh, directly instead of actually doing like a developer tutorial or a Cadence tutorial if you've been watching that series. So bear with me here if this is uh, a little, um, you know, off or I'm not really doing this right. Um, but I wanted to, to make a video where I'm announcing a sort of project that I've been working on uh, the past few uh, days, maybe even a week or, or a week and a half at this point. Um, and so I wanted to kind of announce it to the public just to uh, kind of give a almost developer journey or developer blog so that people that are interested can follow along as this project uh, progresses. So before I actually get into what the uh, you know project is, um, I want to talk a little bit about DAOs um, on the blockchain. So if you haven't heard of DAOs, they're decentralized autonomous organizations. They are basically community uh they're, they're basically communities, um, and what they are is the people in the community um, have ownership um, uh, in that community, and they have incentive to, to contribute, and that is largely through a, a token that actually governs that community. And so if you've seen um, you know, DAOs like the developer DAO that I'm actually a part of, uh, that's a DAO where you buy an NFT, and then if you have that NFT, you actually have access to the, um, the, the Discord or whatever the, the, wherever the community is being hosted, and uh, you can contribute in, in a meaningful way. Um, and some, some other DAOs usually have a, a, like a token. Um, I'm sure the developer DAO will have one at one point uh, in which you own some amount of tokens and that uh, it represents your voting power in the DAO. And so I was kind of interested in this and, and what I, you know, I, I was looking at, at um, the Flow blockchain because if uh, for many of you that, that don't know me, um, I am specialized in, in the Flow blockchain. I've been coding in Cadence, which is the smart contract language for the Flow blockchain for about a year and a half now. So I have pretty extensive knowledge on the Flow blockchain. Um, I'm the lead uh, Flow developer at Decentology. Um, we are currently building the Hyperverse, but I won't bore you with that um, for now. But if you're interested, you can ask me about that or, um, or look up uh, Decentology Hyperverse. Um, and I have also uh, made uh, the main network contracts for MotoGP and a bunch of other projects out there, but um, I'll just keep that uh, relatively short. And so because of this, I was sort of looking at all these DAOs, the Friends with Benefits, the uh, you know, Developer DAO. There's a bunch of uh, examples out there. And I wanted to really um, look into sort of making a DAO, but on the Flow blockchain. Now, I haven't seen a lot of um, DAOs on the Flow blockchain. Uh, there may be some, but I haven't actually seen any. I know that uh, Dapper Labs is actually taking steps to um, incentivize DAOs to be on Flow. I don't know how that's going to be done yet. But as far as I know, um, what I'm about to announce is, is probably the first DAO that will actually uh, be on top of Flow. And so I've been working on this project called Emerald City. Um, Emerald City, I drew inspiration uh, from, well, number one, I wanted the, the token to be named Emerald, but um, the, uh, the actual DAO will be called Emerald City. It's a Wizard of Oz reference uh, for those of you that don't know. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I, I have been thinking about how to actually do this on Flow. And so right now, um, what I have is a, a token called Emerald. It's a fungible token, and I've actually written the smart contract uh, for this. Um, I have also written uh, the smart contract for um, swapping between Emerald and a Flow token, and my hope is to actually get this deployed um, on mainnet and get it on BlocktoSwap, uh, which is an exchange in which you can uh, swap tokens back and forth um, on mainnet uh, soon. And once that happens, people will actually be able to um, trade Flow token for uh, Emerald, and they will be able to join the community. Now, right now, the community is actually a Discord. I will put this on the screen. Um, and anyone can join the Discord right now. Uh, my, my goal is that uh, this, uh, this DAO will, will be on, um, on Discord, and every, anyone will be able to join, but certain parts of it will be restricted to those that are actually in the DAO and, and have a certain number of tokens. I haven't actually, um, you know, I, I haven't really decided on the governance yet. I don't know how many tokens people will hold. The token isn't even on BlockToSwap yet, so all that is still to come. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to kind of give a, a little bit of an announcement and maybe where it's going. Um, and so there are other things involved in this that for those of you that are curious, um, I also, uh, for those of you that, that are, have joined DAOs like developer DAO and et cetera, um, discord, which is the, the, the platform that I'm going to be, uh, hosting this community on, um, is, uh, discord is helpful because you can, you know, have your own bot. And so. Uh, in a lot of these DAOs, um, for example, collab.land, I'll put that on the screen as well, um, is a bot that basically handles authentication for your Discord server, uh, in which um, that you know the the owner of the bot will you know link to a certain script and and 
that bot will read if a certain account has a certain number of tokens. And so a user who wants to join the DAO uh, will essentially, you know, put in their address and the bot will automatically authenticate if they have enough tokens to join the community. Uh, but this doesn't really exist for Flow. This only exists on Ethereum. So the past uh, couple days have actually coded out a bot um, that automatically authenticates people um, to uh, join a community. And it's actually called Emerald. Um, and so I'm really excited about this. And my hope is to eventually make this bot um, open to any sort of project uh, or any sort of DAO so that it's not you know, specifically hard-coded just to fit uh, em uh, you know, Emerald City's needs. But anyone in the Flow ecosystem could actually use this bot for their DAOs. So that was step one, was to figure out how people would actually get uh, the ability to join the community, was they would have to mint the tokens into their account, and then they would have to use this bot. And so that I had to code out that bot on uh, number one. Number two is actually setting up the Discord, and so I'll, I'll show the Discord on the screen. Uh, the Discord is going to be a community, uh, just like any other Discord, um, in which nobody truly owns the community. And so, of course, um, you know, right now I, you know, quote unquote, own the community in the sense that I have admin powers over the Discord, and you know, I'm the one, you know, developing the contracts. But my goal is to make it so that I am able to let go at a certain point once the community um, gets enough people in it and once people contribute ideas and all that. So a standard DAO sort of process. Um, and so there will come a time where, um, or, you know, of course, right now, my, my hope is that everyone can contribute equally. So whether you're a developer, whether you're an artist, whether you are anyone at all, Web 2, Web 3, doesn't matter, you will be able to contribute equally uh, depending on the amount of tokens that you hold. And so that's the governance hope for the future. Um, as of now, because the token actually isn't deployed, um, anyone can join the community uh, just to talk about the future and, and what the goals are. Um, so that is my, my current plan for the, for the Discord. And so um, the third step is to actually get the token uh, deployed on mainnet and get it on BlockdoSwap. Um, and that is all um, currently uh, happening. Um, I'm hoping that will happen sometime in the next month or so. And so once that happens, we can actually get governance going and uh, get people voting on certain proposals and stuff like that. But right now, that will all be done uh, manually. So with that being said, I, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to give sort of like a developer blog number one on Emerald City and an introduction to Emerald City, what my hopes for it are, um, and all that. Um, and so just to reiterate, Emerald City, at least in my mind, is going to be a sort of central hub um, for not only the Flow blockchain, it, it will be sort of focused on the Flow blockchain because that is where most of my experience lies. But my hope is to also incorporate, um, you know, in th Ethereum to some extent and, and the other blockchains as well. But I, I want Emerald City to, um, and when I say I want, I mean, you know, this is just my goal, but I'm looking for a community also to contribute uh, equal, just as equally as I can. So I have no power over anybody. Um, to sort of decide what the goals of the community are. But at least my vision as it is now is to make it um, sort of a central hub for learning resources. So whether it's YouTube channels, whether it's tutorials, whether it's Unity courses, a central hub for learning resources that anyone can utilize no matter what your experience is. Um, and also sort of as a support channel for if anyone has any cadence questions, um, anyone can answer them and jump in and answer them for people to advertise their own projects if they're looking for work, for people to actually be able to um, look for work inside of this Discord and, and look for opportunities. And also just for, for fun stuff, for fun events to meet up in, in real life and to, 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 to help each other along in the Web3 journey. And so it's very early, early stage right now. As I said, I've only been doing this for about a week or so, um, but this is a developer blog uh, number one. So thanks so much for, uh, for listening in, and um, I will see you in the next video uh, when I have more to say about it. So um, that's, that's it. Oh, and the last thing is to, um, if you're interested, uh, make sure to join the Discord. I'm going to link that in the description, and I've also set up a very simple Twitter page. I'm not that good with Twitter, but uh, you can follow that also if you're interested in any updates. All right. I will see you in the next one.